Dr. Biden, um, I, I've raised alarm bells uh, among other Republicans about the danger of a second Donald Trump term. And I'm yeah. genuinely fearful for what that could look like. But consistently, we're seeing poll after poll that are showing Trump beating your husband outside of the margin of error. When in fact, last time in 2020, Joe Biden was beating him in nearly every poll. Are you, how do you turn those numbers around with five months out? And are you fearful of what a second Trump term could look mm. like? Or a third, as third. Donald Trump says. Mm. So, uh, yeah. so we are going to meet people where they are. We're going to go to college campuses. We're going to go to uh, just every state that we can get into. I've been traveling every single day. Joe has been traveling as much as he's as possible. And we're not going to take anything for granted. And those polls are going to turn. I'm confident of it because as time goes on and as people start to focus a little bit more about mm -hmm. what's at stake and start to become educated on the issues and the differences between the, the two men, I believe that Americans are going to choose good over evil. Yes. Oh, that, yeah. Obviously, all of our hearts break for the loss of life of innocent Palestinians and the crossfire in this war. But we also are very concerned over the campus protests that we saw break out, some of the, the more violent rhetoric used mm -hmm. and some of the imagery we saw. Could you speak to that? Well, I think that, you know, people do have the right to protest. I mean, that's why we have a democracy. Thank God we, have, we live in a democracy. But I think that the protests have to be peaceful. Mm -hmm. Peaceful. Why would we be violent? What is the point of the violence? I mean, aren't we, aren't they really protesting the violence yeah. with violence? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. So peaceful, yes, it is your right to protest. So I agree with the students who are protesting, but do it peacefully. I believe Trump said that he would jail protesters. Yes. yes. If he won. Yeah. Yes, he oh. did. Well, that's probably My where he just... Correct. Start, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I mean, Start. including okay, us. That's, that's another right being yeah. taken yes. away. If he's yeah. The first presidential debate is, is less than a month away, and we've uh -huh. debated at this table. There have been people that have thought President Biden shouldn't even debate President Trump just due to the fact that he. Uh, Donald Trump will gaslight, he overtalks, yes. there are no guardrails. So he stalks. It, yeah, well, yeah. I happen to believe it's really important, mm -hmm. more than ever, to have a debate with guardrails. Uh -huh. What is the strategy that uh, the president has going into this? Any tips you'd have for a debate that we could pull off where we could actually hear our candidates? No, they've built that in where they're going to turn off those mics yeah. so that somebody can't ramble okay. at, or scream at somebody. At, you know, not that my husband would be the one doing that. No. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's out. already been negotiated. Right. And, you know, I think, but I think the American people deserve a debate mm -hmm. because you need to see your choices. You need to see Trump and you need to see the president and you need to see the differences. And my husband's, and you're going to see how smart he is and the experience he has. And then you'll see somebody who, like you're saying, I'm going to use Joy's words, Go can't ahead. put a sentence together. Right. And everything is beautiful and it's wonderful. Tremendous. Big yeah, yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous. Yeah. So I think you deserve, the American people deserve to see the, the two men who are running for this office because your choice is going to be clear. Yeah. Well. And something interesting as far as I see it, um, these presidential debates which are coming up, the reason I think they are so important because what's happening, uh, a lot of people, uh, mainly uh, I would suppose uh, those that watch Fox, don't see anything else. Uh, they see maybe little clips of things which have happened, uh, which are regurgitated through social media. With the live debates, it will be an opportunity, uh, one, just for us to see how uh, cognitive uh, the former guy actually is, and as Joe Biden says, can he actually string a sentence together, which is a uh, Factually, truth and uh, isn't gobbity gob and a word salad. The, the jury is out. Well, literally, the jury is out. Just moments ago, the former president walking into court. He did not speak to cameras today, but you got the uh, wave and the fist bump. And and the best that Biden can do is roll out a washed up actor. And don't worry, my remarks will be shorter than the Irishman. I won't make you suffer for three hours. But the best they can do. Israel out a washed up actor. 
consistently we're seeing poll after poll that are showing Trump beating your husband outside of the margin of error, when in fact last time in 2020, Joe Biden was beating him in nearly every poll. Are you, how do you turn those numbers around with five months out and are you fearful of what a second Trump term could look mm. like? Or a third, as third. Donald Trump says. Mm. So, uh, yeah. so we are going to meet people where they are. We're going to go to college campuses. We're going to go to uh, just every state that we can get into. I've been traveling every single day. Joe has been traveling as much as he's as possible, and we're not going to take anything for granted. And those polls are going to turn. I'm confident of it because as time goes on and as people start to focus a little bit more about mm. what's at stake and start to become educated on the issues and the differences between the, the two men, I believe that Americans are going to choose good over evil. Yes. Oh, God, yeah. Well, Dr. Biden, the first presidential debate is, is less than a month away, and we've uh -huh. debated at this table. There have been people that have thought President Biden shouldn't even debate President Trump just due to the fact that he... Uh, Donald Trump will gaslight, he overtalks, yeah. there are no guardrails. So he stalks. It, yeah, well, yeah. I happen to believe it's really important, mm -hmm. more than ever, to have a debate with guardrails. Uh -huh. What is the strategy that uh, the president has going into this? Any tips you'd have for a debate that we could pull off where we could actually hear our candidates? No, they built that in where they're going to turn off those mics yeah. so that somebody can't ramble okay. at, or scream at somebody. At, you know, not that my husband would be the one doing that. No. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's already been negotiated. And, you know, I think, but I think the American people deserve a debate mm -hmm. because you need to see your choices. You need to see Trump and you need to see the president and you need to see the differences. And my husband's, and you're going to see how smart he is and the experience he has. And then you'll see somebody who, like you're saying, I'm going to use Joy's words, Go can't ahead. put a sentence together. Right. And everything is beautiful and it's wonderful. Tremendous. Big yeah, yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous. Yeah. So I think you deserve, the American people deserve to see the, the two men who are running for this office, because your choice is going to be clear. Yeah. Well. Okay, listen up, because um, I'm learning a few things here. Isabella Moody is not a name that I was familiar with until recently. My husband's texting me, and he said that he wanted me to tell you that we will have our daughter ready for you as a virgin. <laughs> Just more intrigued though uh, in terms of she is somebody who the Trumpy Trumps consider to be a uh, a role model. Um, I feel like to young women, unironically, they need to find a man that's very misogynistic. Somebody they should look up to, and uh, she's right in the line of a. Uh, huh, I wouldn't say Marjorie Taylor Green because she called Marjorie Taylor Green uh, the S word. Thank you so much. I'm orange like Daddy Trump. The other thing is Marjorie Taylor Greene, and we'll get to that slot in a second. No, she's really in the uh, Bobert, what a role model, not. Because here's the thing I do not understand. Uh, she groomed her husband. We're talking Christian family values as the Trumpy Trump's blue tick Twitter seer uh, from when he was 15. I wouldn't have let you walk out until my point was conveyed that you do what you're supposed to do, whatever I tell you to do, because that's your job, is to submit, do it with a smile on your face, I don't care. And I wouldn't have let you leave. Mm -hmm. I would have, you know, you would have had to eat whatever mean things I would have said, and then the job would have got done, and then afterwards, after the cooling down process, I would have, you know, repented to God and smoothed things over with you for the sinful behavior. That, I mean, that's how things would have went down. Somebody needs to explain to me how this is working. Because if for one moment this was, let's say, Ilhan Omar, there would be outrage, like absolute outrage. Think about it. Uh, the evangelical uh, pin-up, as in former guy, well, um, never mind the United Felons, never mind the uh, confirmed rape, and all the other uh, shenanigans cheating on his wife. Clearly, with a porn star, that's all acceptable. Why? Why are there two standards? Now, you can say you're just some Brit, can't even speak properly. Uh, look at you. You're in bed. Oh, I've got flu, but anyway. I just, somebody somewhere has got to explain 
What is going on? This is a better character. Seriously, that who is meant to be the uh, the ultimate example. Women are bitches and they need to be trained. The, uh, the ultimate example of a real strong Trumpy Trump female that other women should look up to and aspire to. Well, slap my hand because I don't get it. <laughs> Sorry, I really, really don't.